Why does Reddit hate vegans so much? Vegan here. Honestly I feel it's a few loud, obnoxious vegans that have soured the general public perception of us as a whole. Vegans have become the butt of the jokes as a result. So it's popular to criticize them. Not to say it isn't warranted in some cases. Some people hurt the community and their own cause by acting unhinged. I'm sure a lot of people know that not every vegan is like this. But it's still, in, to shit on the sanctimonious, pushy, irritating ones. Just read it? I think it's just about everyone. Because most of the vegans they've noticed are the ones who are loud and obnoxious about it. The vegans that just live their own philosophies go unnoticed. Unless specifically invited to a catered event. Which doesn't happen often. As a result, people equate vegans, self-righteous assholes. If the only frogs you can see are colorful dart frogs. It's easy to assume all frogs are poisonous. The same thing happens to other groups too. Notably people who advocate for equality of opportunity. Feminists. Men's issues. Shoes etc. I bet you had very specific and unflattering ideas of what a typical advocate for each of those. Three looked like to you. I'm sure annoying. Preachy vegans are a big part of it. However, I also think humans don't generally like having to acknowledge when we are doing something wrong. We are notoriously bad at admitting fault. Me included. I am not a vegan or even a vegetarian but I am aware that every time I eat meat, a living creature suffered. It has. There's no way around that. And it's bad for the environment. People want to eat their yummy burger and not feel guilty. So having some person point out that you're doing something wrong. Well, that's going to ruin the taste in your mouth. I know I should probably go vegan because meat consumption at its current rate is not sustainable. But it's hard to do and it's hard to give up something I enjoy. But I try to mentally acknowledge that my pleasure comes at a cost. I also find people get weird about vegan food. I remember I tried making a vegan nacho cheese dip from eggplant. It wasn't quite the same as nacho cheese. Obviously. But it was really good. Most of my family wouldn't even try it. Not even a taste. They were all gross. Yuck. Later I made it again but just called it an eggplant dip. Those dumbasses. Whom I dearly love. Enjoyed the hell out of that dip. The hate is more towards vegans that force their pets to be vegan. Because some of them tell you they are vegan before they even tell you their name. I don't give a fuck what you eat. That simple. Another great example is vegans forcing their pets to be vegan. Stop. It's easier to hate the messenger than having to deal with the message. Everybody claims to be against animal cruelty until a vegan points out their hypocrisy. Short-tempered and close-minded people don't like that. I think it's more of the preachy vegans. I follow some recipe subs and vegan dishes are every common and no one is against them. I do agree that the reason I'm not vegan is the cost of vegan food and also because I'm weak lol. It's really hard for me to give up diary and eggs. I do have a lot of respect for people who go vegan for animal rights. As it's an issue very close to my heart. But what irks me about Western views of veganism is that they completely ignore that fact that you need to have some kind of privilege to be able to afford and sustainably have a vegan diet. It completely ignores the role a lot of cultures, traditions, religion plays in people's food choices. It might be easy for me to give up meat and diary. But it's not for everyone. Also, vegetarian, vegan healthy food options are expensive and not affordable to everyone. I think the hostility I see in the US is because they consume a lot of red meat. Which research has proven again and again is very terrible for the environment. The rest of the world. 
like in Europe and Asia no one bothers about vegans so much and are generally okay with them. But do find their food choices, troublesome, and I think that's mainly because of the food habits. In these regions. Very animal meat and product heavy foods. Reddit doesn't hate vegans. We hate preachy d CKS who try to force their lifestyle on others. If people talked about Harry Potter the same way vegans talk about veganism. A lot of people would come to hate Harry Potter as well. Not because the books suck. But because their first experience with the fanbase was hostile. Preachy and condescending. Also. Nothing against Harry Potter. It's just my go-to franchise for this kind of analogy. For some reason. I don't think Reddit hates all vegans. They just hate the loud. Stereotypical ones that feel the need to not only constantly tell you they're vegan but also why. That makes them better than everyone else and how all meat eaters are murderers. Accusing people of murder. Animals are not people. So even if you actively killed the very animal you were eating it still wouldn't be murder. Is not really the best way to endear them to your cause. But if you can avoid calling me a murderer for liking steak when you're not around. Then pass me some eggplant lasagna. Seriously. That shit is good as hell. And let's get our grub on. As a primary producer I feel like it always comes down to tribalism. I grew up eating meat and I always will but I feel like I'm pretty balanced on the issue in that I understand why they want change. For as many stupid vegans getting shut down, who are probably pretty reasonable. There are vegans using Reddit as an echo chamber to push their agenda. I've seen some aggressive language directed at people like myself lol. And for every reasonable person who just eats food because they enjoy food there's barbecuing meat. Heads who think joking about hitting vegans with their car is funny. Honestly barbecuers are so annoying. If people feel their tribe is threaded they defend it. Veganism is smaller and has to be louder if it wants people to change. It is annoying. Straight up. Only because as someone who enjoys meat I don't feel a need to tell people in my circle to eat meat. Because they already do. I imagine for vegans it's similar. If they are in a circle with lots of vegans they are probably pretty chill about it until they are. Confronted by someone who proudly throws meat into the conversation as if it's some sort of win. Myself. I am more chill around vegans even if they try to start a conversation about the topic. Although one thing I have noticed. Not sure if I'm correct in saying it. But all vegans I have met have lived in the city. Where produce is not only way more accessible but the realities of farming are very much so out of. Their area of knowledge. Nothing more annoying than being lectured on farming by someone who's never left the city. I got my own reservations on how things need to change thank you very much. I am a meat eater living in a vegetarian household. I think there is a fundamental hypocrisy that most meat eaters face. Especially those of us who own pets or love animals. How can we love a dog but let a gentle cow be killed for meat? We would and do protest against killing for fur. Killing dogs for meat. Killing horses for meat. All while having two for one cheeseburgers at McDonald's. Most of the time we meat eaters don't think about where our meat comes from. But vegans make us think about it. And it makes us feel guilty. And that guilt is hard to live with. Many people turn this guilt into anger at the population that brings up the guilt and thus you have. The, I'll show them vegans by eating a huge steak crowd. That is my opinion as someone who chooses to eat meat but also lives with the guilt. In my experience, people get the angriest when they know deep down that they're wrong. But don't want to change. In this case. They know that meat is an environmental disaster. And often terribly cruel. But it tastes so good. It's easiest to reconcile these facts by simply ignoring the problems with it. 
then a vegan comes along and just by existing shows people up damaging their self-concept of themselves as a virtuous person so they could do some introspection and change their behavior to match their values or they could relentlessly mock vegans which option lets them still enjoy a delicious steak people don't like being told or shown what they do day in day out may not actually be good or right or what's best for the planet they don't like being shown the consequences of their actions some of it also comes down to ignorance as well like some of the comments in this thread just being plain wrong yet it's being spouted anyway people seem to think that veganism is just a diet or a personal choice that only affects the individual but the reason why some vegans are so pushy preachy is because we're not just talking about people debating their favorite color we're debating whether or not billions of animals should be slaughtered each year just because you want to eat wear use them when most people don't actually need to and can easily and happily live without doing so obviously there are extremists within any group or community which will do things that will pique interest and get ridiculed and then used as a baseline but veganism at its core is just trying to live as best as you can without harming animals. That's it. A quick look in this thread and you can tell what a lot of the vegans and even non-vegans think of. People who eat meat, calling us hypocrites, saying, deep down we know it's wrong to eat so much meat, saying that watching a vegan lifestyle makes us insecure, or that I should feel guilty for eating meat? How would you feel if I went through your life and made you feel bad about your lifestyle? How would you feel if I commented on your exercise habits? Your time spent on the internet or your electricity usage? How much you enjoy certain drinks and foods? How you commute to places or how long you shower? You could nitpick anyone's life and make them feel like shit for existing pointing at scientifically proven facts to benefit you or the world doesn't make you justified. There's nothing wrong with a vegan peacefully spreading their message. But I won't tolerate someone who tries to shame me for being who I am. I doubt most the people on this thread would either. Most vegans are chill but then you get people who will talk about nothing else. Regardless of whether you asked. It's blown out of proportions by the internet but these people do exist was at a party once and ate a sausage. The entire time this vegan kept lecturing me on why it's so bad and I shouldn't eat it. Should have thrown it in his face. I don't have a problem with vegans. But I don't like getting preached at. My best friend is vegan whereas I could live off meat. But she isn't preachy and it has never been an issue. The only time it even comes up is when we're trying to find somewhere to eat and that works for both of us. I also don't like when vegans equate eating meat to factory farming. I'm super opposed to factory farming. It's incredibly cruel. But I'm okay with eating meat in a restaurant because I don't eat out often. And at home I eat meat from animals of hunted or that comes from animals owned by my family that I know have been treated well and loved. Well I've learned nearly 99% of people commenting don't understand what veganism is and what they are trying to accomplish. It's a failure on both ends. I would also like to add if people are tired of hearing vegans opinions. I vote that no one shares their opinion. I would also like to remove all advertisements that push meat and dairy down our throats and also remove all government subsidies. If meat is that magical, it should follow fair market value. I don't hate vegans. It's just too many fit the stereotype. And none of them will admit that the diet is bad for you. As a developed society, we collectively eat way too much meat is especially red meat and some of my favorite meals are vegetarian if you plan your diet carefully and eat the right things 
a vegan will still require vitamin supplements. B12 especially. 99% of vegans are cool and live how they want to live. At most raising the issue to others. But not forcing it. But there are 1% or so who are aggressively vegan. Shrieking out to strangers that they are torturing baby animals to death. When the stranger is just trying to have a nice meal to escape the drudgery of life. People remember the noisy ones. And tar the rest with the same brush. You also have the occasional problem when you meet people who call themselves vegan. But eat things like gelatin or coconut. Informed people may consider them ignorant or hypocrites. The stereotype, like many, arises from the minority. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.